Hey YouTubers, hope you're having a good day out there. Uh, today I got a, a new type of video and I, I've never done one of these before, I think. Um, but it's a, just a product review. And the only reason I'm doing it is that when I was looking on the YouTube, I could find very few of them that made the videos. And when they were, they were just, they were good, but they were just very scripted. They didn't seem very real life. And I thought, well, I need a real life um product review on something and this one is on um, these gorilla carps let me flip my camera uh, this one here I needed a cart to be able to hook up to the uh, four-wheeler and I need something that was a little bit more sturdier than those cheap pop metal ones you get like tractor supply or Lowe's or something that's uh, you know small ones you pull behind and I thought, well, I need something for, you know, to haul firewood up out of the woods because that's uh, down there is where I've been getting it. As you can see, I've uh, got a very good stack going on here. Um, but this one's called the Gorilla Cart. And this one uh, is a, what they call the 1,200 pound capacity. And um, I, you can get them off Amazon and I think you can order them from Lowe's or whatever, but I actually ordered this one online from Home Depot. Then I went to the store and picked it up. And uh, I'm trying to think, it was probably two, two twenty nine or something like that. I don't know, something like that. Um, this one is the uh, yeah, there's the model number, steel utility cart. Of course, made in China, which it wasn't, but can't do much about that. But anyway, these things are pretty sturdy, pretty handy. And I wasn't uh, sure what I was going to get myself into because I couldn't physically see them. Um, so I had to, you know, I ordered it offline, picked it up. As far as the material, these things are pretty sturdy. This one's got the, the mesh wire underneath there. And I've hauled a lot of firewood with it. It's got the 15-inch pneumatic tires. Um, the first one's got, you know, a... Uh, bolt and washer neck on it there so it can swivel the axle and then it's got of course the uh the tongue here that you pull these two pins out and it flips around and you can pull it by hand you could use it for that if i was going to use it for that and pull it by hand in my yard i probably wouldn't get such a big one because i don't think you're going to be pulling 1200 pounds or 800 pounds around in your yard by hand i'm using mine mostly for the four-wheeler and um, I'm going to go down here in the woods and throw some wood on it and uh, kind of give you guys an idea and show you what it's like. Now down here, we're you know, down away from the house, whatever. But uh, I had an, an old ash tree that, that died and rotted at the base, fell over, and I just busted it up. And that's some of the wood I've been toting up the hill with this thing. And um, I'll load this thing up. And I've made quite a few trips and I thought well man maybe somebody could like to see this if they had decided they want to get one a couple of nice things features with it though is these little handles right here where that comes on flips up kind of hard to do with one hand there we go <laughs> sorry about that guys and then that right there, you know, it'll come down. And, and actually, all the sides will pop off. They just lock into place here with these grips. And uh, I'll get this thing loaded up and uh, show you how much it holds. And uh, I'll be back in a few.
Now this is, I don't know, three quarters of what I've been hauling, but it's just what was left there. And uh, it does not have a um, suspension or anything like that. You basically just got your axles right there, bolt and washer. And uh, it does pretty good for what I'm using it for. Um, like I said, even with all that on it right now, it's still pretty steady. Now this one's got a wide, pretty wide wheelbase. Now that pop metal black one I picked up at uh, Tractor Supply or Lowe's, I can't remember which one I got it at. Like $129, the two, you know, the single axle, the two wheels. Every time I'd go over a hill or something, it would uh, just twist right here to neck. So this one's a little bit more sturdier. Um, if I was going to do any upgrade, if I was a company, or look at these reviews, this right here, I'd make it a little bit more sturdier, a little tougher. But I guess, I mean, this, this pops out and this pops out and you can take a whole handle off. Um, you could get somebody to fabricate you something just to hook into there uh, if you want to be. If you're going to be really rough on it, which I, I'm not. I'm not going to be that rough. Um, you know, I pulled pretty much everything that you're seeing here and a lot more up there. And I'll take it up the hill here and uh, see if I can uh, show you. All right, I'm going to try to hold this and take it up the hill too. So sorry about the quality. So we're back up here and um yeah i would i would recommend them um especially for the price i mean 200 200 a quarter something like that if you're going to get one for your yard i probably wouldn't you know do anything probably over the six or eight they make like four six eight hundred something like that um but you know it uh, they're pretty sturdy like i said and they they work out pretty good pretty handy and they're pretty solid, I'd say, so far. Um, if you like it, um, you know, I hope it helps you out. But, um, yeah, I would recommend it. So, again, that's called the Gorilla Cart. And let's see, there is the uh, model number there, the GOR 1400. Oh, 1,400-pound 14, capacity. Okay. Maybe that's why it's got the wider wheelbase. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Take care.